Good afternoon, everyone. It's Sally Kaylin here, relationship coach, healer, and mentor. You are listening to my podcast, Relationships, the Good and the Messy. Thank you for listening in today, everyone. I hope I am finding you well, especially in these changing uh, situations in the world with everything that's going on. Uh, uh, Today's podcast is one that I have spoken about before, but it's something that I feel, you know, a lot of us need to hear over and over again for it to really sink in. So today's uh, podcast is going to be about the signs that you are involved with a toxic person. And they may vary a little bit to other signs I've talked about before, but it's really important for us to get sometimes really honest with ourselves and acknowledge what's really going on. As I mentioned yesterday's podcast, at the end of the day, it's really important to have people in our lives that are kind, right? Respectful. And if you're finding yourself in a situation where you're forever overthinking, then, you know, we we have to get really honest with ourselves, right? And I know it's not always easy to walk away from those unhealthy relationships or even easy to look inwards at ourselves and, you know, heal the story within ourselves that's allowing ourselves to be in these situations, right? I know sometimes that can be very confronting, but the only way out is through. And at the end of the day, my passion, mission and purpose is helping people awaken, awaken and heal so that they can live in the most healthiest, loving relationships with themselves first, and then with the people they spend time with. So today, going to talk to you about the signs that you are with a toxic person in this relationship. Okay, so point number one, and this is a very important point. When there is an argument or when you are having um, problems in the relationship, that person is more about creating pain and suffering projecting than they are about problem solving. At the end of the day, when you're in a healthy relationship, there are still going to be arguments. There are still going to be differences of opinion. But the difference is, is when you are in those healthy relationships, you're all about solving the problem. You're all about, you know, sorting things out, right? So that is the first sign. They're more about like just inflicting pain, projecting, not owning their story, Um, And so you will find that as a consistent pattern in in your relationship. Number two, they basically become, and I've spoken about this before, very defensive when you are trying to have a chat with them about your concerns of any kind. So you may want to talk to them about something that's bothering you and it doesn't matter how um, pleasant you are or how sort of calm you speak, they will always see it that you're trying to attack them in some way. They will be get very um, defensive. So you're dealing with someone that, you know, becomes very defensive and that in itself becomes incredibly difficult for you then to, to be yourself. Essentially, you start becoming so aware that you can't say what you truly want because that person is going to basically you know, go on the defensive and become very sort of standoffish. And that makes you therefore feel like you can't speak up and say what you need to say, which takes me on to point number three, because this is going on, this is what tends to happen. You then start becoming very aware of what you can and can't say to this person. That in itself is a a big sign that something isn't right, that you're living in in a toxic situation. When you have to kind of like fully kind of look at the things you want to say and think, oh, can I say that to him? Can I, when you're really doubting whether you can or can't say something to someone, that is a sign you're in a toxic relationship. You're not feeling safe enough because they are basically, like I say, on the defensive so often that you become very aware of what not to say and what to say. So it's just eggshells, like you're walking on eggshells. The next point, point number four, is they tend to make everything your fault. So they're very good at like 
gaslighting I feel and projecting. So if you, again, you're trying to talk to them about a concern, um, they will not own that story. They will not, you know, have a conversation back and say, okay, I hear what you're saying. Um, and just be listening. They tend to then just project and suddenly you're the problem. You're the problem in the relationship. You're the one. And, and this is very, um, like a head trip, right? Um, because you, it's called gaslighting and it's sort of things like, you know, I wouldn't be doing this if you didn't do that. You know, take a look at yourself. Why are you so nagging me all the time? Why are you, why do you always push my buttons? They tend to start putting things back on you. Um, and it, bec- and then you start really second guessing yourself. You start thinking, oh my gosh, have I, you know, said too much? Shouldn't, maybe he's right. And, and it's crazy because you know that what you're, you're wanting to say and be in that relationship, you know, that you're not asking for too much. You know, that you're just trying to have a, a decent relationship here. But when they start, you know, behaving that way, you really do start second guessing yourself. And let's face it, when you're in an environment where someone is never owning their story and projecting back onto you all the time, you know, that can really affect you. And I don't care how spiritual and how awake you are, how present you are, because I'm very much about the present moment, your environment is going to affect the way you feel. That is a fact. It it will penetrate through all of it. Like, right? And I know this because it's been, it's happened in my life and there's only so much that you can deal with, um, before it does start affecting you on, on, on a core level. So it's something to be aware of, um, in your relationship of this guys. Um, it really is a head trip as well, because like I say, you do start thinking, is it me? Right. And the next point, um, the signs that you're with this toxic person is that they tend to be the most loving or nicest to you. One or two things. One, when they're wanting sex or two, when they have pushed you too far, they've knocked you down. They've made you feel like crap. You, you, you know, you're really worn out now. And then they like, Oh, they want to be nice and loving. Why is that? Well, oftentimes they feel safe enough to do it. They feel like they just want to build up their own ego. They feel more in control because as long as you're being bright and breezy, you, they can feel threatened by that. They, they often, these toxic, toxic people like it when you're struggling more. Um, and you're, because it, it makes them feel big and you small. That's how, you know, it is. So there are just a few signs guys I have got other podcasts about other toxic signs because literally there's so many different ways of looking at situations my message today though is the you have to always own your story it's not just about looking at the other person and you know projecting of course your own stuff but it's about being very honest with yourself and saying you know this is the way I show up in my relationships and this is what I'm having you know, in my life. And like I say, when we're experiencing a lot of these toxic situations, it's because on some level, we don't believe we deserve it. We don't feel worthy, or we've got mental, emotional narratives that keep us stuck in loops, right? You know, and, and as long as we are playing that program, we are going to continually find ourselves in that same situation. So, I don't want that for you. I want you to realize that you can be an empowered person and take the steps that you need to take to have a great loving relationship because it's never okay for someone to project their shit onto you, essentially. You know, and I know how difficult it is to be in this situation. I absolutely 100% know the freaking struggle, right? And you know, you know the truth by the way it feels you should be able to be fully, completely yourself in a relationship and you shouldn't be having to have arguments and battles every single day. And oftentimes, like I say, when you're living in this situation, it just becomes the normal. And you know, you have to ask yourself at some point, like, am I willing to live the rest of my life in this situation? Is this how I want to spend my days with this type of energy? Right? And that's where it's at. So I want you to reach out to me 
if you need help in your in your situation if you've just broken up and you're needing clarity focus purpose on next steps in your life if you are struggling in a situation right now and you need answers I want you to reach out and ask me at the end of the day like I say it starts with the way in which you see yourself it starts with you becoming fully whole and present in this moment but at the same time you have to become to the point of total self-awareness so you can actually become aware of the programs that are keeping you in this situation and therefore you know untangle from that pattern basically and it's simpler than you think it actually is but it's having those tools to do it because you don't want to grow old like this right you don't want to grow old with this person who's giving you a hard time making you second guess yourself you want to have someone that totally appreciates you and supports you and you know you know the truth by the way it feels right you know if you're feeling, you know, drained, struggling daily, then there is something not right. And there needs to be some action taken to change that outcome for yourself. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Reach out to me if you're interested in coaching with me. You can find me on Instagram, Sally Kalen. You can message me there as well if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer your questions at this time um, because we're having this bit of a quiet time around the world with our quarantine. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you um, if you have any questions. Um, I have closed the door on the free coaching that I offered for some people because um, I can't, um, I have no more spaces for that. But I definitely will be happy to answer some of your questions. So I will be back in a couple of days with a new podcast. Take care of your hearts. You deserve such a beautiful relationship. And I'm here to help you get to that place. It's all about being present, being now, and letting go, unlearning the old story. Love you guys. 